does a disservice to sun-grown craft cannabis because like take for instance uh, Whitethorn Rose for instance we've been doing studies with Columbia University that has tested that in their high sophisticated lab and Whitethorn Rose has 55 different terpenes well California labs like SC labs only test for 30 and they, they think they test for the highest so Whitethorn Rose's most prevalent terpene that it has is outside of the standards that they even test for. So how is that legitimately putting what my terpene content is on the jar if they don't even test for the terpene that those strains have? And then that's not even including the volatile sulfur compounds, the esters, the ketones, everything else that are making up those scents. Skunk is not a terpene. The scent of skunk is not a terpene. It's a volatile sulfur compound. We don't even test for that. So you may have something that has a very, very low terpene level, but will still knock your socks off because of the other things that are going on. Terpenes so are, are wonderful, but they're not the end-all, be-all. Which is great, but it's the beginning of the conversation. So once again, we're going to get into a point where we're like, okay, it's not terpene percentage anymore. It's everything else as well. Yeah, and then White Thorn Rose, they found, had 445 yeah. different cannabinoids. And then real quick for science-driven people, I just wanted to point out there is a study that was done, I think almost two years ago now, Colorado University, I see people nodding, hopefully you've heard of it. If you haven't, look it up, it's super easy. Your level of potency does not correlate with how high you get. They proved it definitively. So it's a great piece, it's a, there's some articles about it, the study itself is fairly short, it's not that difficult to read, it's really good to buff up on that, so you can be like, well actually, you know, what's crazy? There's a study that was done that proved definitively that th th these things don't correlate. So instead of spending 80 bucks on the 38%, why don't you get something that's actually going to be really enjoyable? It's down here. It's in the $30, and yeah, it's only 18%, but man, it's the best smoke I've ever had. Emerald Cup.